Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA. Hi, this is Cooking APA. So my wife told me this few days uh, that she wanted to. Uh, she's craving for Indonesian fried rice. So uh, I'm going to make a Indonesian fried rice for her tonight. Now. Um, basically, Indonesian fried rice, the most important ingredient is this one, okay? The, uh, the uh, very famous sweetened sauce. Uh, it's actually a dark soya sauce, but sweetened, and it is quite sweet. So when you put, after you put this later, you don't really have to put any other sugar to your fried rice, okay? So, um, I'm not going to tell you this brand to take, but uh, this is the brand that is most popular in Indonesia, I think. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. So this is the most important ingredient. Anything other than this here are optional. Okay, I'm just uh, going to using my uh, my own way. This is cooking up way on how to cook the Indonesian fried rice. Of course, I pre-cook some fried, uh, some uh, uh, jasmine rice. Okay, some uh, white rice just now and leave it for a few hours to let it a bit dry out. Of course, I have a bit of uh, egg and to give it a bit of uh, meat, I'm adding chicken. To give it a bit of veggie, I'm adding some petai. Okay, this is a uh, sting bean. It is quite stinky for those who doesn't like it. It has a very acquired taste. Personally, Appa and many other Malaysians loves it. So, um, if you don't like it, don't use uh, sting bean. You can use long bean. Yeah, just cut your long beans into small, uh, small cubes. Uh, small dices and other than that we, we need to um, add a bit of rempah feel rempah meaning spices in bahasa in malay so how are we going to make the very simple rempah i have two stalks of red chili here i'm using now um, i want to give the rempah feel but i don't want to be very spicy so what i did here was first of all use big chili okay this is going to reduce the spiciness number two the seeds remove all the seeds inside the red chili then basically uh, this dish will not be spicy but it will have a very nice spice feel very nice rempa feel so i will i'm giving it i'm using two uh, big uh, big chili uh, two cloves of garlic two red onions more red onion and about one teaspoon of blachan okay blachan is fermented string in Malaysia, basically you will buy in a cube and what I normally do is I will dry roast dry roast meaning you pan fry it without adding any oil using uh, low medium heat slowly you dry roast it until it is become powdery form like this see? see? I'm doing this and then I will keep it into any uh, small glass container whenever I need to use it, I will just scoop it up this is very useful. Now the main reason why you want to dry roast it is because number one, um, dry roast it will actually bring out the flavor of the blachan. Number two, dry roasting your blachan will actually remove the slight bitterness in within your blachan itself. A good process to do. Okay, of course, if you're lazy, you don't want to dry roast, go ahead and use it straight away from the paste. All right, don't worry. Okay, so first of all, we need to uh, blend the uh, blend the rempa, then we can start cooking. Okay, just going to put in the ingredients. Actually, it's easier to chop it off into smaller pieces to ease the blending process or grinding process. Okay, and to put in the blachan. And let's uh, just blend it. It doesn't have to be very... Uh, it does... Oh, did I own the... Oops. Something's wrong with my blender. Let me check. Okay, it wasn't plugged in because we just came back from overseas. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, it doesn't have, have to be extremely fine. It's just a coarse paste like this will be uh, good enough. Okay, you can also uh, chop it, uh, chop it, uh, chop it up if you want. Then I'm going to saute our uh, my uh, rempa. Okay, so you uh, do put some oil. Uh, we need to uh, saute the rempa so uh, the sp spices. So we actually need to put a bit more oil here and. Yeah, then only erase the heat in cold wall, okay? Then only erase the heat and uh, you don't have to wait until it is very hot. You can actually add in the rumpa right now. Saute for a minute or two until the flavor really, um, really released from... Wow! This is very nice. Yeah, it tastes very, it's very aromatic already. I'll come back shortly, probably in one minute's time. Okay, this is after a minute or two sorting my rempa. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, put a bit of salt into my rempa here. Okay, I just want to season my rempa. And I'm going, I'm going to cook the rempa with my chicken. Ooh, immediately my chicken will be extremely flavorful. It looks very appetizing right now. Okay. My uh, chicken is in dice, very small size, so it will get cooked quite easily. Now is the time where I can actually put in the stinky bean or you can put in your long bean oops it ran off oh it already becomes a very nice sambal chili patai <laughs> like uh, i'm going to season it with a bit of light soy sauce all right give it some base flavor Okay, then I'm going to move everything to the side. Like this is actually optional because I want, I'm going to add some egg. Okay, you don't have to. Egg is optional in this dish. I'm still, take note, I'm still using high heat. Yeah? Then you will want to break your egg. Let the egg uh, stay for a while. Then you can put on, move over your ingredient and also put in your rice. It's almost done. This dish is super easy. But it is so flavorful. I always say, uh, basically, in Malaysian family, we eat spicy, but as to how spicy, you can make your dish look spicy, but it is not too spicy, alright? So, all you need to do is choose bigger chili, number one. Secondly, is to remove the seeds totally, yeah? Then it will become very edible, very much edible. So, you want to uh, make sure your grain of the rice grain is uh, becomes uh, individual, alright? It doesn't crumble up together okay it already will taste very good last but not least I'm turning down the fire a little bit the Indonesian sweetened dark soya sauce that's where you get your color and the sweetened flavor immediately it turns browner yeah
Indonesian food. Actually, for this uh, dark soya sauce, this Indon uh, this dark sweetened dark soya sauce is probably the single most important seasoning in any uh, Indonesian cuisine. All right, it's basically done. I'm just uh, before I take it out. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. That's all. I'm not going to add any sugar. Just a little bit of salt, and that's it. Give it a few stir, and it is done. All right, I'm going to show you how I serve. Okay, so here's my Indonesian fried rice. I'm going to top it out with a little bit of uh, fried uh, onion. Uh, you can also fry an uh, egg uh, separately and eat it together. So here you are. Let me adjust. Hmm, how can you keep on moving? So here you are. Here's my Indonesian fried rice. I hope you like my video? If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.